What's up everybody, Dre Pack at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Zero Hour and their brand new update, which is the quality of life update. And we're going to be going into their brand new training ground. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new and ding that bell so that you can get more updates on Zero Hour or any other game that I decide to cover. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. It starts off by saying Zero Hour's first quality of life update includes a new training ground, implementation of the Nuvo, anti-cheat, and miscellaneous improvements. The next major update consists of the new operation that's still in progress, and they help to deliver that very soon soon. So yes, they've added in a new training ground. The new training ground is now much more extensive than its precedent form. The latest additions to the training ground include tutorials and squad based training. Tutorials. First iteration. The tutorials will help you better understand the fundamentals of gameplay and the way you should play it. Then it goes on to talk about squad based training. Now you will be able to bring your teammates with you inside the training ground. You can run kill house and play tutorials together as a squad, ensuring better teamwork before heading into your mission. And then they go on to talk about the thing that I probably dislike the most about this update and that is the Denuvo anti-cheat update. The Denuvo anti-cheat is now implemented within the game. It is required that you play a quick match but is optional for custom match and will not affect co-op mode and training ground. To clear up any confusion, we added an FAQ for players who have any questions. When does anti-cheat install? When quick match multiplayer is accessed? Does it start with my computer? No, it starts and stops with the game. Will it make the game slower? No, we did extensive profiling and found no differences. Can I remove it? Yes. Uninstall it from add remove program files anytime. This implementation only includes the Denuvo anti-cheat so your performance will remain unaffected. God, I really don't like the whole Denuvo thing. I hope it doesn't mess with my game, I swear to God. Then they go ahead and talk about miscellaneous things here. Hit reg improvements. We have received many complaints about our hit reg and overlooked many things. The player body collider shape has been improved to match its visuals better. The hit reg was unusual because the limbs would block bullets. For example, your hands would take the hit and not allow penetration to other areas such as the chest. This issue is now fixed. While the damage is unaffected, kill time will be significantly improved. Optimization. We worked on smoother animation transitions since some animations have been abrupt or unpolished. Along with that, we worked on general improvements involved in gameplay. And then it talks about camera shake. To add to the authenticity for better impact, such as grenades exploding or kicking a door down, we added a camera shake to further add to the experience. We did this to increase the visual effect of using explosives. Neat. And that just about does it. There is a quality of life video, but it's really not like that intuitive. Like it's just more of like a montage, I guess. Like a showcase of their kill house, I guess. And if you want to see that i'll put a link to it down in the description and uh yeah so that's pretty much the update it's a relatively tiny update i took a couple of subscribers to go check it out and so uh here's that video go down jack Trap, trap, trap on the door.
Ready, go. Not bad, not bad. Get down on your knees, knees. Get down on police. Your knees. Hands up. Get down on your knees. Police on your knees. Police guns down. Police on your knees. Police get down on your knees. Gap, gap, gap. Defusing. Defusing. And that was the video. If there's any like critiques that I could give to it, it's that I feel like it's a bit too big and doesn't really flow really well. Like the shooting range is way too big for only like five players. Like you don't need that many freaking slots. You could definitely cut that down. Also, you can actually kill someone with a grenade and you won't be able to spawn back in the freaking kill house. Hands up. Hey yo, hey yo, what? Oh. Ah shit, it's a grenade. Oh my ass. Nice. You can kill people on this? This is amazing. Oh, How do I spawn? Shit. I'm still alive. How do I spawn? How do I spawn? Wait, you can kill people on this, but you can't fucking spawn? How does that work? I'm smashing every button. Bro, are you serious? You can kill people on this, but you can't fucking spawn? Big bro moment. What an oversight. They need to make it so that you're either able to respawn or just make it so that you can't die from grenades. I just feel like the training area is just a bit too big. Like, there's too much running around from one place to the other. But running around the courses that are inside the training area is actually not too bad. I actually do quite like the training courses. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video. So, I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Zero Hour, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support 
the channel, check out my Patreon, or click on that join button underneath the video. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.